Next video we're going to look at taping for shoulder pain. If you look at uh, the patient, you'll see that there's three different colour stars. So if a patient presents with pain around a blue star, that could be indicated maybe a bicep or a supraspinatus. The red might indicate some form of subacromial bursitis. And if you have po posterior shoulder pain, it could indicate infraspinatus or posterior delt. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is apply uh, an eye strip that I've cut into a Y strip. The deltoid comes down, so we want to offload the deltoid first of all. So break the back in, so we actually break the two legs. And then apply the first pad with little to no stretch on that bit, so no stretch on that first part. And then what we're going to do now is bring the arm up into abduction with external rotation. So you're actually lengthening the anterior deltoid as long as it's comfortable for your patient. So that would be okay, but if it's too sore, the patient could literally bring their arm back in that position. Okay, so you have a choice. So from this position, little to no stretch of the first leg is literally going to feed around the anterior deltoid, like so. And then bring the arm forward and turn the arm in. So this is going to offload the posterior deltoid. So we can lay that down. So again, no stretch on this. Let the arm relax by the side. Okay, so that's the first part. That's a standard form of taping for any pathology with a shoulder. So it doesn't matter if you've got a supraspinatus or bursitis, this would be the first part. So now we're using a second tape. Again, it's a Y strip that I've just pre-cut. In this case, we're going to look at the supraspinatus, one of the rotator cuff. So we can apply the tape on the anterior part, but this tendon muscle is responsible for external rotation as well as abduction. So we are going to ask the patient, if they're able to, to place a hand onto the lower back. And you can just retract the shoulder a little bit, that'll do. And then apply this. So this would be applied over the supra. You can actually apply this over the bursa or the actual infraspinatus. So from there, apply that on the front. The supraspinatus originates in the supraspinous fossa. So 75%, so 100% back off to 75 across the fossa. And lay that down. No stretch at the end of the tape, remember. And the second one is actually going to come below the spine of the scapula. So 75%. And that's going to lay down with no stretch at the end. Relax your arm, please. Using the back of the tape, we can heat activate the glue on the back side of the tape to make it more adhesive. And there we have it.